<laughs> wow, hello camera. You've been in my bag all day and haven't recorded anything. Nikki is farting away. <laughs> Skate park's closed now. Actually, it was closed like 45 minutes ago, but we are about to head home before it gets too dark and it's getting cold outside, so yeah. I need to go home and do some editing for that video regarding my scooter, the new one I have. <sighs> so much editing! It's crazy! It's crazy, crazy. Alright, I'll catch you guys a bit later when I come home because I am going to have two minutes more scooter and then we go home because I just need to get warm so I'm warm to go out. So, guys, today I've done something I haven't done in a while. My keyboard and mouse. Yes, I've been playing some Counter Strike. Um, and I actually upranked to uh, Gold Nova 3. Um, so I think I'm not lost out too much. Um, but right now I'm just going to bed, guys. It's really been a sleepy day. Um, we went to the skate park, that was fine. But other than that, just been home relaxing. Um, I think I need a little break um, from all the stuff I've been doing recently. Uh, my dad is home and he's doing fine. And um, I think now my mum is like really tired all the time. My dad sleeps a lot. That's like kind of weird how they like sleep so much, both of them. Um, they need to come out and use the body and get some energy into them. And uh, it's wearing me quite a bit that both of them are so tired all the time. It's not normal. And then um, Paul's eye is still the same. The last thing was that he, like a week, two weeks ago, had uh, laser surgery in his eye again to like stop some bleeding. Um, but he still detects, I mean, he can still see some blur. And he can still see lights and colors. And he can also see little specks in the eye. And you can tell that there is um, still some bleeding, a little bit of bleeding. Um, so you're probably going to need more of that. Um, but the doctors have said there might be a chance that they can't do much. Um, which is scary and terrifying to know. I mean, losing your sight is probably one of the hardest things to adapt to. Especially in... In, in, in everybody's age, it doesn't matter if you're young or old, it's just a very hard thing to lose your sight. So um, I hope that they can sort things out and he can get his eye sight back on his left eye. Um, he's got the sight fully working on his right eye, but still the fact is that if you try and just cover your one eye, like if you have like a... I don't know, maybe a band, uh, bandana or something you can put over like that um, and try and walk around in your own home, which you know. Um, try and walk around and try and grab stuff and things like that and see how hard it is because you don't have the three-dimensional and just able to just distance just as well. Um, it must be a hard thing to suddenly have and knowing that there might be a slight chance of you having to accept this for the rest of your life. I would be terrified. I'm terrified on Paul's behalf because of that. Um, I hope that it will just get sorted because it's scary and it's not nice to know that they might not fix it. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. At least my dad is out of hospital. He's okay. Um, but we're still a little bit worried because they haven't done anything with my dad. They just like kept an eye on him and making sure that things seem to go well. I mean, there's no guarantee that it won't come back. I just hope that my mom and dad will um, get the symptoms quick enough to react quicker. Because last time it was really, really close, guys. Really close. So, yeah. All right, well, I will catch you guys tomorrow. So stay awesome and epic and look after yourself. And don't forget to tell family, friends, uh, people that you care for, that you love them, because sometimes they need it. And uh, sometimes you don't know how long you get to spend with them. Yeah, we can deep now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.